Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Welcome to our first <laughs> official episode of the Disney Chicks. I forgot what our name was till right now. This is serious business. It is. It is. <laughs> we are all in full throttle. Yes. Our first official episode, if you could tell by the title, is going to be our top 10 rides in all of Walt Disney World. Now, I'm sure we can all agree if anyone was to sit down and try to come up with the top 10 in all of Disney World, that's extremely hard. So we that's have okay. our top 10, and then at the end, we will have our Honorable, honorable mentions. mentions. There are four parks in Walt Disney World. <laughs> yes, Magic, Miss Kelly. Magic Kingdom. Epcot. Hollywood Studios. AKA MGM Studios. Yes. And, and Animal Kingdom. Animal Kingdom. So we had to pick our top 10. So how this is going to work is we're going to start at the bottom, number 10. There are so many rides in Disney, so it's not like we don't like this ride. It's just our 10th favorite, our 10th must do ride in all of Disney. Yeah, because one is like. Yes. I would feel weird not doing it. These rides, I think I have to go on because I would not feel okay if I didn't go and on And these them. are just rides, not shows. These are all rides, everybody. These are not shows. We'll have a different episode that talks about okay. shows. Just are, rides. These are rides, rides. Motorized. Strap in. Buckle up. Let's go. Fasten your seatbelt. Hands inside the vehicle at all times. <laughs> inside the vehicle at all times. Gracias. Yes, yes. <laughs> That's what they say on the tram. Okay, Nicole, what is your 10th favorite ride at Disney World? I put Pirates of the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. You had that too? I do not have that as my 10th, but I do have it on my list. Okay. I just feel like that's a, you have to do it. I just feel like it's a classic. It's been there forever. So I'm going to go on the Disney website for those of you that may have not been to Disney World or don't really know what it's about, and I'm going to read the description of what Disney says that it is. It says, set sail on a swashbuckling voyage to a long-forgotten time and place when pirates and privateers, private, privateers ruled the seas. Privateers? Privateers. And it is a dark ride. It's a water ride. Yeah. And there's Well, I one... remember you, Kelly used to hate yes. drops. Any one... kind of drops. Yeah, there's one drop in the dark. When she was little. And we would always have to, well, I would try to get her on everything because I just whatever so we I remember yeah. the first time well we, we brought her on when she was little but then the first time she could actually like realize what was going mm -hmm. on we brought her on pirates and we we there's no drop kelly like i don't I know really, if you remember i this. do and she was not happy no but now you like it obviously you're, yeah you're i love old. it i think once you hear that song that song will play for life it's a classic it's amazing and this is one of those just like feel good rides you yeah. What my favorite kinds of Disney rides like Pirates are the ones where you can just relax and enjoy what you're doing. Yeah. You don't have to think about anything except what's going on. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the wait time. I think we can both agree that the wait time for this ride on a regular Disney day is usually pretty high. Yes, but it moves. It moves. But it can be long, but it, it moves. It can be long. What I I have stood in that line crabby before. I have before. stood I will in admit. that line crabby as well. But what it moves. Does, what is not my favorite thing is a lot, well, I guess any ride in Disney World, but this one specifically makes me feel very sticky and hot, this line. Which yeah. is like whatever. So if you're going to Disney World, be prepared. This line is usually pretty decently long. Yeah, and I'd say like go first thing, but also there's other things you have to hit there first thing. It's up to you, but I think this is a staple everybody needs to go to. Yeah, if you can get a fast pass, well... Yeah, I mean, yeah. And it's kids, up there. It's up can there. go on it. It's fun. Super fun. See, this is what I mean, like, nostalgia and Disney. Yeah. Like, this to people are going to be like, what the heck? But, like, to me, what I <laughs> what sticks out with Pirates is when you are, you're on the ride and you drive under the little, like, bridge and there's the guy with, <laughs> the, the, hairy leg. with the dirty foot and the hairy leg. Yes. And for some reason, I just remember ever since I was, like, little, little, little and, like, going under it and laughing, like, with Dad yes. or whatever, like... So, like, to me, like, that's still, like, funny to me that right. that's still there. It's, right. it's just weird. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. My 10th ten. favorite ride would be Flight of Passage. Ooh. Now, on my list, but definitely higher. It is on higher. my list, but the reason that it is my 10th and not up. It is a great ride. Do not get me wrong. It's phenomenal. It blows my mind when I get off of it. I just don't think it'd be at the top of my list. You know, maybe if I miss it, it'll be okay for me personally. But if the I have... The line's rough. Okay. The first time that I went on this ride, the line was four hours long. It did move, but it was roughly three and a half hours long. The big advice would be if you are going on Flight of Passage, you need to go super early in the morning. Yes. As we discovered, we will talk about this in Disney Secrets and things like yeah. that. You can really, really go 
early in the morning before even the park opens and potentially get up in line. The description of Avatar Flight of Passage says, Climb atop a winged mountain banshee for a breathtaking 3D flight over Pandora's otherworldly landscape. So yes, if you have been on Soren before, it is kind of like the vibe of Soren where there's but a like screen. But like on steroids. Yeah, it is on steroids. You sit... You are sat in a more so like motorcycle position, and it's, yeah, like you know, you're getting on a horse. You're not really pretending to get on like a bike. banshee. I get it. All right, Nicole, are you ready? What is your ninth ride? What is your ninth? See the okay. My ninth is your dino- top nine. Dinosaur. Okay, dinosaur is also in my top ten. Ooh, I feel like we're gonna be very similar. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. Um, so let's talk about dinosaur. Okay, so. For dinosaur, we got a, we got some good stories about this ride. Yeah, I'll just like set like okay. So when I was younger, and for me younger at Disney, like I was little going on yes. these rides. So I just distinctly remember the first time going on dinosaur. It scared the heck out of me. If you've been on it and you're like and you're little, like it's scary. It's definitely a scary thrill. This is one of the rides where they ride. do issue warnings before you yeah. go on because it is really, it's dark the whole time. There's fast movements, there's flashing lights. Yeah. Like, it, it's an intense yeah. ride. It's so intense. I remember, okay, we went on it, I, me and dad, or maybe me and dad, mom, I don't remember, but and then there was like years that yeah. we, like in between, that we did not go on it again. When I was a little kid and honestly, through middle school and almost the beginning of high school, I remember my dad saying that he hated this ride. Yes. And that I would hate it because I had never been on it. He's like, that ride is so scary. Kelly, you're going to hate it. I don't like it. I don't want to go on it. So there and was that period where nobody went no, we on didn't. Dinosaur. So anyways, then we, you know, we got a little older. And now I love it. I laugh. I think it's good. I like, I just like the ride. And yeah. I, every time we go to Animal Kingdom, we go on Dinosaur. I don't yeah. know. I just like it. I don't know mm-hmm. what it is about it. It's just like. It's not a roller coaster, but it's not like a boat ride, but it's not like a little drive through ride. It's like a little bit of thrill. Yeah. It's it it jogs you around. Mm-hmm. I I don't know. How to... Let me give you the description. Sure. It says travel back in time on a prehistoric race to rescue a dinosaur before the meteor strikes. Now, that honestly is a pretty perfect definition. Um yeah. you go through the whole queue and it's like you're in the laboratory getting ready to board your mm-hmm. little um your van, your car to go back in time and rover try to rescue the dinosaur. I don't know. Your rover. Time traveler. Time tra- something, something like that. that. Yeah. And it is one of those where you get on it and it feels, it like feels real. They do a really good job at, you know, um. Hydraulics, maybe? Sure, but I was also going to say they do a good job at making the queue flow into the ride. Yeah. Like. Yeah, that's my nine. What's your nine? My, <laughs> my ninth favorite ride must do in Disney is Figment's. Oh, still love. Still go Which, on. if you do not know, it's actually called Journey into Imagination with Figment, the aka the little purple dinosaur. I also feel like people are very opinionated. The description on this ride. is Figment, the playful dragon, is your guide on this delightful ride through the sensory labs of Imagination Institute. A lot of people are opinionated. You either love it or you hate it. You don't understand like this ride, when I go on it, makes me feel like a kid. Yeah. When I, I don't think I could go to Disney World without going on it. It's also like a put your feet up. It's a relax one. And that song, that imagination song, I can't play because of copyright issues. But if you go Google it, you'll smile. Or be annoyed. Or be annoyed. One of the other. I'm hoping you say smile. <laughs> I, Just like I don't it. know why people don't really like it. I mean, I guess it's like silly, but it's also nice. There's never a wait. No. You walk, you honestly, it'll say five minutes because that's how long it takes to get from the front door Literally. to the ride. And it's air conditioned. It's so air conditioned. even if you yes. hate it and want to close your eyes, then you're out of the heat for what is it? Seven minutes? Like whatever, how long it is. Literally. And it's good. But you used to not like it. You do remember when it was the loud part. She used okay. to hate it. I, I like Figment, except let me have my full disclosure here. At the ending, and then there'd be that loud noise of those little cannon air booming blasting things. Let me tell you, I'm 21 years old today, and I still plug my ears because it's loud. You're but right. I know that after that booming sound comes the imagination song, so it's all right. I used to like the part where, well, the train? No, 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 when the house is up on the ceiling. Yes, because, the, and that's a one little spark. <laughs> da, 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 da. Oh my god, I can't. This ride brings me so much joy. Yeah. I can't handle it. It's too good. I, yeah, again, I don't think this would be on a lot of people's must-do okay. list or top ten, but for me, I could not go to Disney World without going on this ride. All right, Nicole, what is your number eight? 
My eight, I don't know if this will be on your top ten, but for me, is Kilimanjaro Safaris. All right, I did not have that on my list. Really? Yeah. Okay. Um, I just personally have never had, a like, a bad time on the ride. Yeah, true. Sure. I don't know how people could not enjoy it. Even if you don't see all the animals, you see some. Usually with Animal Kingdom, if we're park hopping or anything that day, we always do Animal Kingdom first just to get on some of the bigger rides there. But also, getting on Kilimanjaro early in the morning is smart to do because... 100%. And you'll learn and, like, they tell you and stuff, like, when the animals are up most, when they're eating and blah, blah, blah. blah. So the mornings are usually a good time to see a lot of them. Can I quickly give the yeah. Walt Disney World... Oh, Dot yeah. Com. This is, like, a huge safari ride. Like, legit animals, all, like, yeah, read. Let's yes. Uh, it says, set off in an open-air vehicle for a guided tour of an African savanna and spot live animals roaming free. Yeah, and it's not boring. Like, the, no, the, it's not. the drivers or whatever, the drivers of the truck, safari, this, yeah, whatever. Your safari guide. Safari guide. Like, they're fun. Like, it's funny. No, and I've always been interested. I just haven't done it. Like, you can get, like, a, like, backstage Mm -hmm. or whatever. You can pay for this, um, like, you can walk through the safari area and, like, feed alligators and, like, you get attached to a harness and, like, you can go out to different parts. You didn't know that? No. You can see them when you're on the ride. Some people that are on, like, the backstage tour. Why are we not getting that? Because it's, like, Like, a thousand dollars? It's pricey, but, like. And like it's like only certain times of the day, and it's oh, like a, right. it's like yeah. a three a three hour like yeah, commitment probably. because you go to each enclosure. And, but it, to me, that seems cool. But like I said, like I'm a, like I'm a huge animal lover, so something like that is gonna interest me oh, more than sure. other people. But yeah, that's definitely on my my top ten, hundred yeah. percent. I just like it, and I think, and I've always liked it since we were little. We've always gone. I think everyone would enjoy the ride. <laughs> yeah. So. But again, for this one, quickly we'll talk about wait times. Usually, this lot, this ride, be a has a pretty bit hefty a wait. wait, and you do need to be aware that this whole line and the queue is outside. And just yeah, like when it, you it does of, move, yeah, but just it's like other slow. outdoor rides at Animal Kingdom, really, they have fans every now and then, but it is still pretty sticky and hot. So just be prepared. Again, like Nicole said, and we recommend. Go on it right away in the morning. All right, we're going to go into my eighth oh, ride, sh- which we don't need to spend too much time on because my eighth ride is Dinosaur. Okay. Two or three years ago. When you left your purse? No. <laughs> I Oh, no, it was my senior year of high school, and I went, long story short, I was enjoying Animal Kingdom by myself, alone. And I was like, what ride am I really going to enjoy by myself? I don't think myself? I hate that either. I did not hate it, let me tell you. And being like a Disney like goer, kind of like we are, we know the park like the back of our hand. Yes, it was ca- back and forth. It was on. something I've never experienced being alone, being like, I know where I am, I know what I can and can't do. Yeah. Like, so just, and I immediately walked to Dinosaur, and going on Dinosaur by myself was an unreal experience. I sat in a row. I was on the end of the row, so I was next to the scary T Rex by myself okay. with a family next to me, and the whole time I'm closing my eyes and screaming. But it was they have single time. rider there, right? Yeah. Oh. That is why I enjoyed it. Single rider. I boop, I got right on. Dinosaur, I don't know if we talked about that line sucks, not gonna lie. That dinosaur line sucks because they bored you by It's in groups. Tram, it's in unquote. groups. It's in groups. Because they put you in that pre show and I'm telling you that line does not move. Mm-mm. You have to like hit it at the right time, which I don't even know what it is. You, I don't We've know gone either. in and it's been ten minutes, we've gone in and it's been an hour and ten minutes. Like that line sucks, not and gonna lie. Another thing to add. I, I do not think that that ride the wait time is accurate. You think it's longer than what it says? Yes. Yeah, okay, yeah, sure. Personal opinion. Yeah. Okay, so that is our number eight. We are going to move on to, ah, number seven. What I is can't your number believe seven? you're going to be surprised. That what if we have the same one? That's low. What if we have the same one? You don't. What's your number seven? Space Mountain. Mine's not. Okay, Space Mountain, love. Okay. Yes, Love, Agreed. love, love. I go on it every so time fun. I'm there. I just feel like the way it fell with my other rides, it was seven, but it is a must-do. It is one of the yes. mountains. Like, you have to do it. It's a dark ride. May, I wrote it. An- may you tell the podcast what the mountains are? Like, Space what, what is that? Where is that? Okay, Magic Kingdom. We're talking. So there is Space Mountain, Splash Mountain, and Thunder Mountain. Yes. I'm going to read the description of on Space Walt Mountain? Disney of Space Mountain. All right. It says, blast off on a rip-roaring rocket into the furthest reaches of outer space on this roller coaster ride in the dark. That's mm-hmm. a pretty fantastic description. So, in my personal experience, the three mountains, this was the last one I went on when I was younger. Like, I did the other two, mm-hmm. 
And Space was my last one. I think because it's, like, definitely more of a roller coaster. For it's sure. inside. It's in the dark. Like, Pitch black. Like, when you're little, like, that's the scary out of the three. I think I was probably still seven or eight when I went on yeah. my first time. I do not think I went on Space Mountain or any of any of the really big roller coasters no. at Disney no. until I was, what, 14? You, you were a lot older it took than me. me a long which time. is, like, totally fine. It but fine, yeah. So I was young going on Space. I loved it. I sat in the front row. I remember this. My dad told everyone, like, Space Mountain, you're, it's like a single single right like single seat yes it's like um rocket ship it's like a rocket ship and there it's like five people in total but it's one per seat so there's yeah so you sit alone, you sit alone. you're directly in front or behind someone to be completely honest there's not like hundreds of roller coasters at disney no. so this is the roller coaster at magic kingdom now there's the seven dwarves but it's just it's just a good ride it's decently long i think yeah literally you good laugh time. the whole time you laugh the whole time there's been times not anymore, but when I was younger, like, my, usually it's just me and my dad riding, and he would talk to me the whole time, and I just wouldn't answer, because I was just, like, riding the ride. Once I did go on space, I was like, wow, I've been missing out for forever. Yeah, because it's just, like, fun. It is one of those rides. There's nothing too scary. Where the first time, I will never forget, the first time I went on, I was so scared, but yeah, it was just the was. fact that every time I go on a ride like this, I'm just laughing the yes. whole time, which is what I love about Disney rides, is because, yeah, it might freak you out a little bit, you don't know what's going on. And if you hate it, it's really not that long. You hate it, it's like two minutes long, maybe. Not even, maybe 90 exactly. seconds. But yes, I, I'm i not going to tell you where, but Space Mountain is on my list. It is? Yes. It's higher than mine? Yep. But I, to me, I think the queue is really important on any ride, the line. Yeah, I, I think mean, it sets me up, and what I like about Space Mountain is, with this ride, obviously I don't want to wait in a long line, but I like when there's a little bit of a wait because I get to hear all the music, Yeah. I get to look around, and then I actually feel like I'm going on a That's ride. That's fair. That's so fair. So I really get in like the space kind of mood when I'm going on space. Yeah. This, there's always a line. Always. If you can get a fast pass, Even if you go sure. right in the morning and you turn off to tomorrow, like, there's a line. And now on my seventh is my beloved Carousel of Progress. See, I really wanted to put this on my list, but it didn't fit. And that is okay. I think that I have this connection with Carousel of Progress. I can't, I really can't put it in words. This has been there since the start by the way. So pulling it up on the Walt Disney World app, it says, travel through the 20th century and marvel at the evolution of technology during this classic audio animatronic show. So basically- That wasn't the best description. It isn't. What it is, is it's a show ride. The theater moves around a, Into four or five? Four different scenes? It's four different scenes or four different decades. Yeah. And it basically is just like the evolution of technology- and the family life. And, and how yeah. things have come, I mean, not to current day, but, you know, I think it's probably early 2000s when it is up to date. The song, Great Be Beautiful great Tomorrow, be beautiful that song hits tomorrow. me in a whole other way. Let me tell you, my 21st birthday, <laughs> um, I was opening my gifts, and I saw that Nicole got me a keychain, and it said, there's a great big beautiful tomorrow, and I bawled my eyes out. It's a great ride. It's, I think, more so of, if it's your first time at Disney, again, See, that's the thing. It's like, if you go there, that guy, I don't know. If you have never been, and yes. you go there, you're and you're like, okay, I'm going to go on this ride. You're going to be like, I wasted right. my time. To us, it's just like part of the trip. It's yes. part of the day. It's yes. part of. It makes me feel good. It's part of like, all right, I'm going to take my shoes off, and I'm going to sit in the very front row, and I'm just going to lay gonna back, sing. and I'm going to sing, and I'm going to rest my feet. Yeah. And we've been on, remember the last time we went, we came out, and it was monsooning. Yeah, there's a video, and like me and Nicole are drenched in water because it was raining but we're sitting at the front row of carousel of progress and the song is playing and we're just singing and clapping we don't care about the four rows of people behind us no. we're just singing to ourselves and enjoying it it's just kind of just one of those like things. yeah that's all it's just an enjoyment it's definitely i need to go it's my top 10 yeah all right we need to trudge along here i'm actually proud of our timing here let's go to our Number six, Nicole. What is number six? My number six is Spaceship Earth. Spaceship MF and Earth. The classic Spaceship Earth. Is that Epcot? It's the Epcot ball. The symbol, that big golf the, ball, uh, looking, ball thing. looking thing. There's a ride inside. It's Spaceship Earth. And there's not like that much to talk about, but basically it's taking you. It says, travel through time and explore the remarkable history of human communication from the Stone Age to the Computer Age. And that's spot on. Oh, oh yeah, candles. We bought okay. these candles. Not like we're going to plug Magic Candle Company, but Sponsor there's us. a scene on Spaceship Earth about the Roman era. And, and when they went through and were burning Rome. And so I bought a candle that smells like that scene. It's literally, it, Magic Candle Company 
takes sense from so shout out magic hand company maybe one day you can sponsor us <laughs> <laughs> it takes like sense from different either rides or disney yeah. or blah 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 and they make it into candles mm-hmm. so this candle is called rome burning it just brings you through time and technology and life all that like kind of stuff and i think the biggest focus is technology like epcot that's, that's what epcot's whole like mm-hmm. mo is anyways well it talks about how they got from literally communicating really nothing word, fire creating an alphabet in a language hieroglyphics Hier- well it's well, and hieroglyphics, everything and then things the phoenicians they invented them the alphabet the, right the phonetic alphabet yes um and then going all the way to technology how it is today and one of the things you look at is how did they fit that whole ride inside that f-cup it's ball? pretty cool it is cool and that's that also a, another one kick back your shoes you lean back you go backwards a little bit you, it's the one where you lean back and um the speakers are at the back of your headrest so yeah so you're your, so it's um you like what's it called not automated you're getting like spoken to the whole ride yeah, like it's, you're it's, the, narrated. it's narrated it's narrated it's narrated the whole ride in your ears it's through amazing. each scene yeah to me, it's a staple. Oh, I will for always. Sure. Al- I think, like, no matter what, we get on that ride. Hundred percent. Whether it, and for this one, it's a constantly moving ride. Yes. So even if the line's long, go on it. Go on it. Like we've done it in the morning. We've done it late at night. We've done it in the middle of the day. Like it, we just kind of fit it in wherever. Yes. We don't get a fast pass for it. If you want to, can you can. Yes. But there's other things in Epcot. Mm-hmm. Too. Epcot yes. makes me cry. You get there and you're like, I am here. Yeah. I am at Disney World. This is like outer body. Okay, we are going on to my sixth ride, and like you said, my sixth ride is Space Mountain. I love Space Mountain. It's a great time. You kind of gave your opinion already. Yeah, I, we don't need to talk any more about it, but... That was your sixth. Yeah, definitely love it. All right, Nicole, what is your top five? What's your fifth on your list? Oh, gosh, what is it? <laughs> Tower of Terror. Okay, fair. I'm surprised it's not higher, but in comparison, when I look, like, I get Can it. Can you tell the audience what uh, park Tower of Terror is at? Hollywood Studios. This is, like, the drop sensation. Tower of Terror. The Twilight Zone Tower of Terror. Mm-hmm. The description is, hurdle up and down aboard a haunted elevator-style lift. You're about to enter, dot, 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 the Twilight Zone. That is a decent description, but I don't think the best. So, it is the drop sensation ride. It's not a roller coaster. It's not, like... It's the, you, they lift you up and you drop. And, yeah. like, like long for short. There's seven sequences. It's a different ride every time. But you drop. It's a little bit of a ride. There's a pre-show. But that's the gist of it. You're in an elevator and it drops. You go up, down, yeah. up, down, up, down. It took a long, long, yeah. long time for us to get Kelly on it. For- like, literally, I think you've only been on it one- twice? Twice. So it took us, like, years. You're 21. So it took Forever. a long time. Um, but yeah. to me... I, I love the feeling where you lose your stomach. Yeah. So, to me, I love it, whereas other people, you probably wouldn't. Yeah. But the picture is always funny. Oh, like, God. the line isn't yes. too bad. Even if it's long, it does move. Get a fast pass if you can. Yeah, if you're in um, I just think it's it's definitely one of, like, it's definitely, like, a ride that if you're talking mm-hmm. about Disney to someone, you bring this up. Yes, And you say sure. to ride it. It's like, a it's a popular ride. I also Enjoy. do like, think that if you have never been to Disney or maybe you're a family or someone that, you know, maybe it's in a budget to go every 10 years or every five years. You should write it. I do think you should go on it. hundred percent. Since I went on that first time, I do like to go on it because I know like, why not? Because I know I'm going to laugh. It might not be my favorite ride, but I'm not crying at the end of it. No. And it's over. If you hate it, it's over. It's over very fast. So that's my five. That's definitely, for me, that's top five. If I'm at Hollywood Studios, I'm a hundred percent riding it. I love it. It's a staple for me now. Agreed. Yes. All right, my number five. Your top five. I don't know if you have this, but mine has to be Test Track. Not on mine. Yeah. Test Track, I'm going to pull up the definition, or not the definition, the description on the Walt Disney World website. So it says, design a virtual concept car and put it to the test on this thrilling high-octane attraction. So basically, if you're to go Horrible description. Horrible. If you're to go into Test Track nowadays, it's just... Very futuristic. Is this sponsored by Chevy? Is that what it is? I, I think it's Chevy. Not going to lie, since they updated it, I've only been on it once, maybe twice. Yeah, so Test Track is now sponsored by Chevy, but it back in the day, it yeah, it used to be about I crash love... testing dummies. It was so fun because you'd go into the queue and it would be about all these different, what, like the test, test different dummies. kinds of tests. Like the, the things you would have to run a car through yes. before it becomes a car and you can buy it. Available to the public. Like safety, right. safety measures. Yeah. 
Put it through hot, put it yeah. through cold. So back then, you'd, you know, you'd go in your, the queue, you'd get in the car, and you'd go through the heat, the cold, the, the you know. Bumpy roads, the smooth roads. You'd make and then eventually, fast. at the end, turns, the most thrilling part is, you know, you go, your speed increases in your little car as you go through the turns and the roads and the hills, and then yeah. you go outside and you reach 65 miles per hour. That's the big exciting part. Then they went through this big, like, refurbishment update kind of thing. And then they got sponsored by Chevy, and it became this whole, like, high-tech futuristic. And stuff. I do understand, because that's the theme of Epcot, you know, the future world of tomorrow. That's what it kind of is. Yeah. So they, they, to them, they need to do it. For those of you who are Disney goers, it's kind of, you know, you wish it stayed the same. But whatever, it can't always stay the same. Um, yes, yeah, so you go into the queue now, you design your own little futuristic car, how it's going to be economically, and all this kind of stuff, and the gas mileage, and, you know, whatnot. Yeah, and I feel like to little kids, not just little kids, but, like, People, your first time there, it is fun. You're in the queue. You're making mm. your own car. You're designing it how you want. And then in your head, you get into the, the car you're going to ride the ride in, and it's yeah. your car that you created. Yeah. So I do get how that's cool, but we rode the ride when it was when the ride was actually different, yeah. and I feel like they it changed a lot. It did. And it was a cooler ride yeah. before. They changed the actual yeah. ride, where they tried to keep some of the same features, mm -hmm. but they changed what made Test Track cool, in my Agreed. opinion. Agreed. I totally agree. Yeah. Um, I'm going to explain quickly, very quickly, a little bit about what the ride is like now. So when you go to Disney, you have, like, the magic band on your wrist. Mm -hmm. Everyone has that now. I think you have to. Mm -hmm. So what you do is when yeah. you go and create the car, you attach it to your magic band, the car you made. So then once you get into the actual ride, there is usually four or five different guests in a car. And all of your different, the ride, the cars that you made are hooked up to the car yes. that you're in. So each test you right. go through, they test which one of the cars you made works the best, whatever. Right. And then at the end of all the tests, there's the one car that, like, quote, unquote, won out of all the cars you made. At Epcot, yeah. like, that is one of their bigger rides. Yeah. For me, that's not my focus at Epcot anymore. But right. if you are visiting, for sure, like, go on test track. Yeah. Yeah? All right. Cool. So we're done with number five. Nicole, what is your fourth? Top. What is your top? Four? What's your What's your fourth? What's your fourth favorite ride in Walt Disney World? Mine is Flight of Passage. Flight of Passage at Animal Kingdom. Yep. Which, was which my we tenth. did talk about. Yes. And I'll just quickly say, for me, when I wrote it three, four years ago, whenever the first time was, it is really amazing. And keep him. Okay, I I do suggest if you've seen the movie, mm -hmm. it makes the ride better. 100%. So I I you get the story. Yeah. I have seen, I saw Pandora before I rode the ride, not intentionally, but I have seen it. I think the movie's really good. Do you yeah. agree? Mm -hmm. It's a very good movie. But it makes the ride, I think, better, and, and you understand what you're doing on the ride more because yes. it is kind of weird, oh, you're riding a banshee. So anyways, I just think that, for me, it's a top five. Just must yeah. do. Whether you've never been to Disney before or you have, the technology's up there. Let me tell you, if you have never seen the movie, that is totally fine because of the cue that's what i'm saying yes, the cue like, totally gets you in the vibe of the movie my first time going you might be a little confused my first time going on flight of passage i've never seen the movie seen i've never seen the movie but the cue got me totally into the movie it made me understand what was happening yeah it puts you through the whole process the cue is really cool we didn't yes. mention that which we'll talk about but yes you should go on flight of passage technology is, it is out of awesome. this world it is all right what is your are we on four we're on four what's your number four so your tenth one Ooh. was Pirates of the Caribbean. And that's your fourth. My fourth one is Pirates of the Caribbean. Damn, it's still on So the top. I need to go there. I need to listen to that song. I need to just kick back, relax, enjoy the ride. You not can't care. go through a day of Magic Kingdom without it. Absolutely Which not. Which me neither. I put it as my top. Yeah. And but as we will discuss in the Magic Kingdom, you know, of course there are, there are rides Magic Kingdom I really need to do, you know, maybe ones that are okay to miss, but definitely... Pirates is a staple. I also think the Jack Sparrow update, maybe like seven to yes. ten years ago. The animatronics on good. this ride are insane. They look we like real confused people. confused when he was first in there. We were like, wait, is, is that, that Is that Johnny Depp? We did question that mm -hmm. for a second. Okay, Nicole. What is your third favorite ride in all did of Walt Did you want to guess? Hills? You said Animal Kingdom. May I take a guess? Is yes. it Expedition Everest? It is. It is Expedition Everest. Why do you recommend the viewers to go on Expedition <laughs> Everest? Okay. There's not many, like, roller coasters in Walt Disney World. Why? <laughs> okay. Um, there are not. No. They are family friendly. I mean, there's a lot. Right. There's, yeah. like, a handful. But when ex um, at Animal Kingdom especially, there wasn't many, like, thriller no, rides. No. Can we and add a side note? For yes. a long time, honestly, before 
the building of Expedition Everest, I feel like for a lot of people, Animal Kingdom was overlooked. Yes, but you also didn't like the River Rapids. But I don't. And think like to me, when I was young, that drop was big. When I was little, now it's no. not. But when I was little, the River Rapids was like a big drop. So you don't agree that Animal Kingdom was overlooked? Uh, yeah, I guess to some people. It... <laughs> Bro, then why did you just do that? <laughs> no, but I'm just saying, like, to me, there was always stuff to do. Like, we would spend yes. half a day, but we still filled that half day. Mm-hmm. But I do get what you're saying. I think Everest added, like, a thrill ride to the yeah. park and brought people there. Yeah. But anyways, that's my top three because, one, I love roller coasters. This goes forward. This goes backwards. It goes all up and down. Well, Also, no. if you have a ponytail on your wrist, be ready to put Sling it on the it. attraction. Yeah. This goes... Okay, anyways, this ride is good. The queue is good except for the dang bells, which Dad can attest to. Oh, I don't know about you. 100% because you're waiting in that hot, sweaty line, and those dads of the kids are always dangling right, in the bells. Right, because the kids cannot reach them, let's add. Right. They probably built them tall on purpose, but... For sure. The dads. It's they the, need it's to the stop. Stop <laughs> the dads of Disney World. I'm going to read the description of Expedition I Everest. I feel like I didn't explain it well. I'm going to explain right. it for you. Take it over. From WaltDisneyWorld.Disney.Go.com. <laughs> they say, Expedition Everest, Legend of the Forbidden Mountain. <laughs> Let's see if this description is that accurate. That was the description? Oh, no. Okay. Kareen... Through icy Himalayan peaks. What on was the first a- word? <laughs> I've never heard it before. It says Kareen. C A R E E N. Kareen. Kareen. Can we just say fly? <laughs> sure. Fly through icy Himalayan peaks on a speeding train while avoiding the clutches of the mythic Yeti. Okay. Okay. I like the icy Himalayan peaks on okay, a speeding basically, train. It's a roller coaster. It's a roller coaster. Let's be real. It's a roller coaster. There's drops. Go on it. You go forward, you go backwards. It's a good ride. You go early. You take advantage of magic hours. You can ride it three times in a row for yes. sure. You get off. You get right back on. It whether yeah. it says twenty minutes, just get right back yes. on because you'll get right on. Can also, I- they have a single rider, mm-hmm. and you can get on pretty fast. So yeah. I've heard. Past couple of times that I've gone on single rider, I've Dad and I've done that. I've got on within two minutes because yeah, it's fast. You go all the way through, and they just wait to fit you in on a car. So. Yeah. Honestly, it doesn't really matter if you're sitting right next to your family on this ride. You get right on. No, it's two people go for on a row. It. Like, just go on it. Even if you don't love roller coasters, do not do what I do and wait. Just go. 19 years. Yeah. Get your butt on Expedition Everest. It's good. It's classic now, I would say. Yes. Top three. So that is your third favorite ride at Disney World. That is. Nicole, are you ready for my third favorite ride I'm at ready. Disney World? My third favorite ride at Disney World is Spaceship Earth. Okay. Now. Which was my number six. Yes. Again, we don't need to discuss um, no, you know, we talked the mechanics about it. We and talked about it a lot. the whole ride in itself. But to sum it up, Spaceship Earth is straight nostalgia. Yeah. Sometimes I am that weird, well, I can't say that, but I am that Disney person where when I'm on a long road trip, I will YouTube oh, yeah. the audio for Spaceship Earth and I will just listen to it. That's because, really exposing yourself. You know what? I'm going to expose myself because... That's okay with me. But Epcot is nostalgia. Like it the is. Caleb I like. Parade. I we'll like, get into all that. I like listening to the soundtrack. Um, it is. Thank the Phoenicians. It is educational. It all makes sense. Thank the Phoenicians. They invented the phonetic alphabet. You know alphabet. what I think you should do? What? You know what I think would be cool for kids? What? You should, like, make it a, is it, like, a topic at your school? Like a. Phonics? Like a unit. Phonics. That's what phonics is, is the alphabet. No, but I'm saying, like, you should make a unit, like. About Disney? Like, no, like the ball, like what you learned through the Epcot ball, you could like, not, your kids could learn it. That's through. history, but that's not kindergarten. <laughs> oh, dang it. That's like second grade. But well, maybe it was a good idea. I agree. If you are a elementary school teacher, teach your kids about Spaceship Earth. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, yes, yeah, Spaceship Earth is two in my top three. Okay, your three. Okay, my number two. Here we go. Friends, let me tell you. It's getting intense. We are in our top two favorite rides in all of Disney World. This is nuts. Now, I know for 100% could bet any amount of money on this. Mm-hmm. Your, my, my top two is nowhere near your paper. You don't think? No, because you. I, I think you're forgetting this ride. Okay. Oh, no. You're forgetting this ride. May I ask you a question? Yes. Does your ride exist today? Yes. Duh. I'm forgetting it? My top two is not on your list. It lives at Hollywood Studios. 
Okay. Neighbor, neighbors to Tower of Terror. Rock and Roller Coaster you have to do. Yes. Like. I agreed. Are you going to read the description? Yeah, I'm Googling. Or not. I'm this is a upside down. You do loop-de-loops. Loop, you do screw, corkscrews, one, corkscrews. Corkscrews. It's in the dark. It's the black it's light. It's everything like, in a roller coaster in one. It's a roller coaster. It's also short, so if you hate it, you're off in like, what, 45 seconds? 40, can I read if, the description? If that, yeah, go. Okay, so the website says, race along the darkened freeways of Los Angeles in a super stretch limo to the rockin' tunes of Aerosmith. No. I mean, yeah. But, does not give you a description of the ride. Race along, I think they could give more of a description. Like speed along? Speed. It's what, zero to 60, 60 and like points? On it's it. intense. It's good. It's good. It's the best. Not to me, but it's a good ride. <laughs> Mom hates See, too. here's the thing. But that's opinion. Disney, you know, they need those rides. But oh, like I said that? in the beginning when I was talking about whatever ride it was, like, it's it, hard to... I love that feeling and in your stomach, good, and I okay. like the thrill and adrenaline. Where so that ride, and I've been on that since I was what seven, nine, maybe nine. Whenever I met the height requirement, I don't know. Like to me, I don't think I've ever gone to Hollywood Studios and not ridden mm-hmm. that ride. Or like that's like I also said with Expedition Everest. There's limited yes. actual roller coasters, right. and this is one of them. Yeah, and it's a classic too. Yeah. And those are family rides, and if you are wanting a more of a thrilling kind of thing, and you, can go to, you can go to Universal, you can go to other theme parks, yeah. but for a Disney ride, you know, with the good queue, with the good theming, Rock and Roller Coaster is a great thrill ride for a Disney park. Yes. 100%. Yeah. It's also, they blast Aerosmith music in your ear. In your ear. Um, you're, like, trying to get backstage to their concert is, like, the theme of the ride. Yeah. I don't know. It's a good queue. It's a good pre-show. Gets you in the mood. I don't know. I know you don't love it, but... No. But, like, you would go on it if I was like, all right, Kelly, we're going on it. I would. It's also definitely a fast pass ride. Yeah, except because we Because the line, the line is long. Unless you're willing to wake no, up didn't. really early. We didn't. We usually don't hit that early. We try to fast pass I it. mean, last time that we us three went, we got right to Hollywood Studios. We did Rock and Roller Coaster first. Then we did oh, Tower yeah, of Terror, yeah, yeah. and then we did a Toy Story Mania. Which was different for us, because usually we try to Fast Pass. Since the Fast Pass is different, if you go there early, you can reasonably get on those rides nowadays. Yeah. You can. Yeah. That's my number two. Probably will always stay in my top three. Okay. Okay. What's Not your... on my list, but I appreciate your ranking. All right. What's your top two? My second favorite ride, which unfortunately will not stay the same forever because they are undergoing some changes is Splash Mountain. Ooh. My, so my second favorite ride in all of Disney is Splash Mountain. Okay. Because, oh, I can't even put it into words. I feel you because I have This to is that. just, this is Magic Kingdom yes. in a bubble. Yeah. I, if it is cold, tornadoing, <laughs> hurricaning in Orlando, I'm going to beg my dad and my sister and my mom to go on Splash Mountain. With picture proof. With picture proof of Nicole hiding in a t-shirt. <laughs> looking like a turtle. <laughs> looking like a turtle. But if you have never been on Splash Mountain, after, I will describe what it is after. If you are going to go on at any time, you either go in the morning and you risk being absolutely freezing cold. Which, remember when we brought mom on that and we are like, if you sit in the back row, like, you're not going <laughs> to go, go You're not going to go So she pulls out her, like, VHR camera recorder. This is back in, like, the 2000s. So she sits in like the third or fourth row. She gets a huge wave. (laughs) Yeah, I was pissed for two hours. Definitely, if you find the perfect times, you can get on Splash Mountain with absolutely no weight at all. I also think at night, during or after fireworks. Yes, if you go to Splash Mountain during when the parade or fireworks start, you will get no wait time. But when you get to the top of that ride, you're gonna have a beautiful scene to look out at. And you might get a little up, but then you get on the tram, you go back to the hotel. I'm going to give you the description from DisneyWorld.com. It says, drop into a... This is going to change. I know. I don't want to talk about it. We don't want to talk about it. Maybe one day when But we also have to be open-minded. Oh, we talked about that. We We have to be (laughs) open-minded in Disney (laughs) World. We cut it out. (laughs) But the description is going to change here very soon. As of now, it says... As of now. As of yesterday. <laughs> drop into a whimsical world filled with classic characters and songs onto this thrilling log flume adventure. 
My number one if ride was If you Flash did Rock. not know, they are going to be changing the theming from, what was the movie? Briar Bear. <gasps> Song of the South. Song of the South. They are changing the theme of Splash Mountain from the Song of the South to the Princess and the Frog. Which we understand. Understand they need to change it, update the theming. But from nostalgia purposes yes. and just enjoyment of the ride as itself, I think Splash Mountain is way up there. It is nostalgia. It is happiness. And I think a lot of people would agree. It is, again, one of those you sit there and you enjoy the person you are sitting next to, behind, front, side, yeah. all in between. You are enjoying who you're with. You're laughing. Yeah. It, even if the person sitting two rows behind you you've never met in your life, you're still laughing together. Yeah, no, I agree. That's why it's my number one. Okay, you listen to them plucking the strings of their fiddles and... Or you go down the littlest drop and you think you're not going to get wet yes. and you get soaked. Like, it's what just is that fun. called? What's that little dip called at the first one? The know. little dipper? Uh, no. Yeah, maybe. A little dip. little dipper? <laughs> no. A little dipper? not right. It is something. But that ride? It's just a, it's just a good ride. It's yeah. just, it's my favorite ride. At, I Recommend? Think it's my, I think it's my number one. Yes. Or, it's also a huge drop, so that's why I also like it. Is it like 500? It. What? Is it 500? 500 what? 500 foot? 500 feet. Kelly. We falling from the moon? <laughs> That's okay. How much is five hundred? Yep, five hundred feet is like hundreds of me. A hundred of me. Oh. No, yeah. <laughs> I guess we're falling from the moon. Yeah, <laughs> I don't have any sort of relevancy <laughs> to how big things are. It's fifty feet. Yeah, <laughs> I'm falling from the moon. Okay, and we are rounding out our At top Kelly's. 10 rides in Walt Disney World. Nicole, what is your number one, even though you kind of mentioned it I earlier. did just tell you it was Flash Mountain, and yes. I just told my opinion. Would you like to give why it is your top, I, I top show? I just did. It's my favorite ride. It's fun. It's nostalgic. It also has a big drop. I like the drop feeling. It's just, I don't know. I just like it. It's my favorite. Mm -hmm. The view. Like, it's just everything. Yeah. I don't know. Totally agree. I don't know if that'll change when it changes. I'll have I know. To see. It's going to be different. They're going to keep the same track, so yes. we'll see. They're going to keep the same track, and what I do have hope for is that technology is getting better, so I think that it's going to be insane. I also haven't seen the movie. I haven't either. I think we need to watch it. it. But I think the technology is insane. It's going to be sort of pandora e technology-wise. True. I wonder if we're still in a log. Yeah. We've seen... We are. Oh. A log? We, log we've seen or like sketches. the boat ride? Logs. Okay. I've seen sketches because, like, the whole, the big part that we drop out of is supposed to be, like, the broken tree. And hopefully it's still a drop. So, it is. Because that would just ruin it. It is still a drop. Okay. okay. Are you ready? What is your number my, one? Even though I could guess with all my guesses. My favorite ride in all of Walt Disney World. It, honestly, it took me a while to figure out what my favorite ride was, but it has to be the Haunted Mansion. This took me a while to figure out, but I had to think of the one ride where I would be gut-wrenched if I did not go on. Fair. I think... This did not make my top ten, but I do love it. Okay. Yeah. This is the ride where I know every single time, either before or after, we are planning on what we're going to eat from the Harbor Cafe. I was just going to say, yes. when I think of the Haunted Mansion, I think we of are, the tuna. Listen, we are either, when we go to Haunted Mansion, we're either starving planning what we're going to yes. do after or, or we just <laughs> we're either starving or we're full so That's this ride funny. is everything in a box of chocolates oh what's that and, mean? okay <laughs> before hon before they had their little like outside refurbishment Cute. my favorite outside refurbishment of the queue Fair. my favorite part of haunted mansion was when dad would tell me about the candlestick if it was gonna stop. But it wasn't too scary where you were afraid to go on no, it. No, it, it was, was just, just a, a good, perfect, good ride. It was a perfect amount of like being with your family and just like enjoyment, like Disney magic. Yeah. 100%. Yeah, Disney magic. It's, it's happy like, vibe. It's also a movie, so if you've seen the movie, you can connect to the ride. It's just a classic, you have to go on it. I agree, it is in my honorable mentions. Yes. It's um, a good ride, I think it's, anyone. It's definitely one that. of my top, but for me, on my line, it's Pirates and Haunted Mansion are, like, yeah. on the same level, and yeah. I would choose Pirates, but I also know you'll choose Haunted Mansion, so that I know if we're together, we're going to ride both. Yep, yeah, for sure. So. so, yes, I agree with all your top tens. I agree with all your top tens. We basically have the same So, top everyone, <laughs> thank you for grabbing onto this rope here of an episode, but... I think it was good. Thank you for listening to our top tens. I definitely wanted to make sure this episode that we not only mentioned our top 10s, but we gave 
not only descriptions of what the rides were, but our personal kind of like attachments yeah. and viewpoints were on the rides because I think that's important and whatnot. So I think this is the section where after we, we finish quickly, our top ten, we are going to quickly, quickly go through quickly, our quickly, quickly. Honorable, honorable mentions. Okay, my first honorable mention has to be Thunder Mountain. God, I can't even believe I didn't put it anywhere. That is the last mountain oh, at Magic that's Kingdom. Hard. There's Thunder Mountain, Splash Mountain, Space Mountain. Thunder Mountain is just basically like Space Mountain, but it's outside. It's out on a track. You're out in the wilderness. There's the, no big drop, I will admit. There's no big drop, but it's definitely it's a like good first roller coaster for someone. Yes. It, and it's good, it's fast. Yeah, when you get older, it's a fun, you're laughing the yes. whole time ride. It is a part of the Mountain Trilogy. You need to go on Thunder Mountain no matter what. I'll it put can, that on my honorable. Yes, it can be a long wait, but I think no matter who you are, you need to go on Thunder Mountain. It's a long wait, but it'll it'll move. Yes. What is something on your honorable mentions? Well, I did mention Haunted Mansion. That was Do you have something else on your honorable I mention? I do. <laughs> Soren. I have Soren on my honorable mention, too. Okay, I feel like that's, like, a good one. It's a classic one at Epcot. Epcot doesn't have a lot of huge rides. Um, it's, like, the, it's like what they made before Flight of Passage. You know, you're in the hang glider. It's the, it's the you're soaring through. It feels like yeah. you're there. It's really, really good. I like the update they did, soaring through. It says, take flight on a breezy airborne adventure as you hang glide above the breathtaking wonders of the world. You sit in like this hang glider thing and it raises you up towards the big screen. It looks 3D. It looks like you're actually there. You can get a little bit nauseous, but it's that kind of like 3D moving environment like Star Tours or Flight of Passage. That kind of thing. It is amazing. So it's actually in both of our honorable mentions. Do you have anything else in your honorable mentions? I do. I have two more. Oh, God. Okay, really quick. In my other honorable mentions, I have It's a Small World. Okay. Because some people hate that ride, but I think it's a like classic kind of have to do. I just think it's a good one to ride if you have kids, ride it. That says, embark on a whimsical boat ride past a jubilant chorus of children from around the globe. Basically, you get in. And I think everyone of, knows that ride, whether you've been on it or not. It's a small yeah. world after all. Yeah. It's a bunch of little dolls from different countries around the world singing the same song, showing that we are all basically in this together. Yeah, I just think it's a classic Disney ride. We're the line is decent. <laughs> Yes. And then on my last honorable mention is the people mover. Oh, the people mover is the take off your flip flops and let that breeze get in between your toes, right? Yeah, yeah. Hundred percent. At Magic Kingdom, That's it's just it like is. a break. That's I don't break. really know how to describe it. Not it goes through Tomorrowland. You go up a moving walkway. You go up a moving walkway in the middle of Tomorrowland. You get on your little vehicle and, and you just ride through you the top through, of Tomorrowland. You go through the top of Tomorrowland outside. Not to mention that you go through Space Mountain and through Buzz Lightyear. Yeah. You go through two different rides. You get to see it from We didn't even mention Buzz. We also didn't mention Toy Story Mania. It is not in our top tens, but guess what? We have so many other podcast episodes. So thank you, everybody, for listening to episode what? one, which was <laughs> our top ten rides in all of Walt Disney World. Nicole, do you think that it was challenging to pick your top ten? Um, I could have picked a top 15 easier. Yeah. Okay. But I think I'm set with my top 10 yeah. solid ride or die top 10. Do your own research as well. But all of the rides that we mentioned are definitely rides that you should take into consideration. <laughs> Night-night. Oh. <laughs> That's Vidanya. Go back to your That's family. That's Vidanya. Go back to your family. Bye. See you in the next episode. Bye, everyone.